by the hist. If I don't get something soon, I don't know how I'll get through the week. I would not complain if you return to the school. school. The Nords don't appreciate us. So what? I don't appreciate them right back. Look, we don't have much love for your kind down here. Probably best if you just left. The docks can be a dangerous place. Won't expect me to save you if you fall in. Hmm? You're not getting anything. Get away from me. I wish the Nords, Argonians, and Windhelm Dark has been hard on my people. But our fortunes will turn, and we have shelter and food. Oh, yes. After all, what's the point in being miserable all the time? I know life on the docks isn't easy. Sometimes life puts you in difficult circumstances you didn't choose. But being happy or unhappy is a choice you make. And I've chosen to make the best of things that I can. I enjoyed our talk. Skyrim isn't very friendly for our goals, so we mostly just keep out of the way. I can take you to any port on the coast. All right, then. Hi, mister. Would you like to buy some flowers? like them. Thanks. Thanks for talking to me. something for just about everybody. Give a holler if you have any questions. All my goods are legitimate, which is more than I can say for some. I've scraped this collection together by whatever means I could. I do some business with the trade caravans, and I've picked up a number of items from adventurers like yourself. A few intrepid souls even brought some items back from Morvenskar, the fort southwest of the city. Of course nothing in here is stolen. Only a careless, shameful, idiotic fetcher would do something as stupid as to buy pilfered goods. Oh, by Azura, I've made a terrible mistake. I bought a gold ring, and Viola Giordano has been missing a ring that looks just like it. It's not that easy. She'd go to the Jarl if she knew I was even remotely involved. You have to get it to her some other way. Look, it's dangerous. But if you sneak the ring into her house, put it in a dresser or something, I will make it worth your while. Don't let Viola catch you in her house. Sneak that ring back to Viola before we both get caught. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. You come again. Sneak that ring back to Viola before we both get caught. You can steal.
of the best soldiers in the Stormcloak army until I took a sword to the chest. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Until next time, I'd be out there fighting the Imperials right now. It wasn't for my own. Lord of Seasons, I am free to you. I've been a bit out of sorts since... since our daughter was taken from us. Not really sure what to do with myself anymore. I just miss her so much. I try not to think of her, but sometimes the simplest thing will remind me. No mother should have to bury her daughter. Drinking, buddy. Let's get some mead. Poor Nilsine has been wrecked since her sister was killed. Well, my friend, if you think those you boots need, need more coin, I'll make it happen. But I'm doing this for you, not them. You need to leave. You need to leave. Please forgive my mood. I'm still coming to terms with my you daughter's need to leave. death. Seeing a good tavern brawl might be just the thing to lift my spirits. We heading out? As you command, my Thane. I've been a bit out of sorts since... since our daughter was... Assorted wares and tools you just can't live without. Come and see I lost your my twin sister a while back. Have you ever lost anyone close? My father says we need to just get on with our lives, like it's that easy. Oh, did you need something? Mm -hmm. Come and browse my fine selection. There's no glory. War. It's something they tell soldiers so they'll risk I don't their haggle. Lives. If you want a lower price, look elsewhere. Just got here from the Somerset Isles. Lots of opportunity in Skyrim. It was difficult at first. The lords of this city are at best suspicious of outsiders. 
But in time, I made the right friends and proved myself useful enough that they don't give me trouble anymore. The Dark Elves are too proud and naive to understand the way things truly are, and so they continue to dwell in my slum. Thank you. I made my fortune. Now I'm retired. I'd travel more, but who wants to deal with all the soldiers these days? The townsfolk call me captain. She was while we ate it. When she Not saw really much sure we what to do it. with myself anymore. She was so I just so miss proud. her so much. I'm so sorry, Torbjorn. You must be suffering terribly. I wish there was someone. I lost my family years ago. You've done Truth more is, than enough already. I don't really know what keeps You've been a good friend in a time of need, and we won't forget that. I'll sort it. I'm sorry I lost myself for a moment there. I just need some time to get over the loss. Yes? Everything you see is grown at my family's own Holly Frost farm, fresh and filling. I also do a little herb growing. The court wizard, Woundfirth, pays us to plant a little nightshade. Who knows what he uses it for. Hey, could you deliver this bottle of nightshade extract to Woundfirth? Thanks. There's an old saying that only a Nord can work the soil in Skyrim. I don't think anyone else would have the patience for it. It takes half a day just to dig a planting well in the cold, stony earth here. But what else can we do? Keep rocks and ice? Good day to you. I've been meaning to speak to you, Naranya. Rumor is you've got ties to the thieves' guild. One should never pay too much attention to you. Huh? You have piqued my curiosity, however. I've yes. been a bit out Do of continue. sorts since. It's a bad time to be a criminal, but with these murders going on. In fact, thieves have been known to kill if there's a profit in it. This war's been hard on all of us. Not that I'd know anything about it, of course, but it seems to me that the last thing a thieves' guild would want is to draw attention to us. The eyes of the law are everywhere. Guards are looking for a killer, but who knows what else they might turn up? Would they? Fruits and vegetables, all delicious and affordable. You need anything? Come see me. I'm as resourceful as I am discreet. Wherever I can find them. If you're the type who worries over where something came from, you may want to move on. I'm a dark elf, and I live in Windhelm. So yes, I live in the Grey Quarter. You must be new around here, or you'd know they don't let my kind live anywhere outside that slum. Be sure to stop by Sadri's Not used lairs in the Great Court. I just miss him so much. Exciting thing for me, but we all have to lend a hand as best we can. 
If a Stormcloak uses one of my swords to strike down an Imperial soldier, then I've done my part to free our land. Every Nord should admire Ulfric. He fights for all of us. In fact, he's the reason I chose to learn the smithing trade. I want to make weapons and armor for the great Stormcloak army. A word of advice, don't buy discounted armor. Don't even think about it. Everyone says Jorl and Greymane is the best smith in Skyrim. I plan to change a few minds about that. Every bit as sharp as what you'll find in Whiterun. I respect Jorland, but he has the good fortune to work the Skyforge. Something about the fires. Their steel just holds tighter, if that makes any sense. I don't see these troubles as business. This is a labor of honor. To bring Ulfric his right to glory, I would hammer a thousand shields. Shore's bones. I might just have to. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade, come see me. Everything's fresh and delicious. Assorted wares and tools you just can't live without. Come and see for yourself. Can't just throw the big log. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Welcome to the House of Curiosities. I offer a brief tour for a few coins, or you can simply browse at your leisure. My sister and I inherited a modest sum of money. We decided to travel and seek out whatever adventures we could find. As we journeyed across Tamriel, we encountered tales of exotic and wondrous artifacts. We decided to collect as many as we could. My sister passed away some years ago, so I settled down here and opened the House of Curiosities. I think she would be happy to know that our collection has brought smiles to faces both young and old. Indeed, I did. For a few septims, I'll tell you about some of the most interesting curiosities in my collection. Splendid! If you just follow me, I'll tell you tales and show you wonders such as you've never seen. My sister and I once traveled the world to assemble our collection. Such adventures we had. These tools were found in a crypt outside Windhelm. They belonged to the ancient Nords who dwelt in Skyrim before the days of the First Empire. Most scholars believe that the Nords of old used these implements to prepare their dead for burial. What macabre mysteries would these tools reveal if they could but speak? I don't care much for the war. Here is the Book of Fate, discovered in a secret room in the Arcane University. The writing in the book describes the destiny of its reader, so the words change from one person to the next. Some see only blank pages, and nobody knows why. Perhaps some of us are born with no destiny, but maybe the blank pages signify an imminent death. Ah, now here's an item out of legend. This is Ishgramor's soup spoon. 
Now, I know what you're thinking. This is no spoon, it's a fork. Nobody can eat soup with a fork. Well, my friend, you did not know Iskramo. Don't let this innocent-looking flute fool you, for this is the dancer's pipe. Legend holds that the dancer's pipe has won wars, toppled empires, and changed the very course of history. None know its origins, but the stories say that men who hear its music are compelled to dance uncontrollably, no matter. To activate this strange power, one must only speak the magic words, which are... <laughs> oh my! I very nearly got us both into a nasty predicament, didn't I? My sister and I once traveled the world to assemble our collection. Such adventures we had. And with that, the tour is over. I thank you for your patronage, and I hope to see you again soon. Day, another second. I wish the Lords, Argonians, and Dark Elves and Windhelm got along better. Forecast we Argonians do the work days. the Nords don't want to do. You talked Torbjorn down? I'm impressed. Here I was, saving this for a rainy day. Maybe now I can afford a few more for my people. Take it. May the earth beneath your feet whoa, be whoa, always whoa. safe. Watch the magic. I know this place looks horrible. Please, don't hold it against the company. Sad, isn't it? We can't afford to keep the place running since these attacks started. Pirates, you see. Raiding all along the coast, from Hammerfell to Vardenfell. Only the Shatter Shields appear safe. A very powerful family in Windhelm. They run a private shipping operation and would love to have the docks to themselves. Wouldn't surprise me if they were in league with the pirates somehow. Not yet, no. But perhaps an intrepid person such as yourself could help with that? They have a dark elf who oversees their operations, Suverus Atherin. She's meticulous to a fault, and keeps a logbook with every transaction she makes. If it were to somehow end up in my hands, I wouldn't argue. They call themselves the Blood Hawkers. They've been around as long as I can remember, but only recently focused on our ships. A dastardly group, but they're more than simple brigands. Shrewd, clever, not to be trifled with. Our own security forces are limited, and all the mercenaries are tied up in this ridiculous war. We don't even know their base of operations, and attacking single ships won't really solve the problem. Now if you'll excuse me, if you get me the logbook, I'll have proof of Shadow Shield's treachery.
We're one of the same kind, you and I. I'm glad to have met you. Looking for shipping? We always offer better service than the East Empire Company. Go cast your fancy magic someplace else. If you get me the logbook, I'll have proof of Shattershield's treachery. How did you get it? No, never mind. I probably shouldn't know. I see. It looks like Severus has been traveling to Dawnstar to meet with the pirate crew there. Get to Dawnstar and see what you can find out about these rogues. I'd wager they won't be too far from the tavern. Try to find out where their fortress is. The captain, Stig Saltplank, has to know something. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Have you taken care of that little problem? Thank you, thank you. Azura's prophecy always guides you to fortune. Speaking of fortune, here. Everything I earned from my last shipment, it's yours. There's nothing more I can teach you. Do come again. Oh. I'm a sailor on the water. Frost farm outside the city. It's honest work, if a bit dull. The cruel seas have been sailors for generations. In truth, I regret not following in the footsteps of my ancestors. If I make enough money from the farm, I'll buy myself a long ship to sail the rivers of Skyrim. Yes? Yes?
My money's on. Everyone says Yorl and Grey may He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Bold Ruffus to a message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest then? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Torig was merely a message to the other Yars. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our armies. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on White Run. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not... The people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Then let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom. The people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? They have families to think of. How many of their sons and daughters follow your banner? We are their families. Well put, friend. Tell me, Belmar, why do you fight for me? I'd follow you into the depths of oblivion. You know that. Yes, but why do you fight? If not for me, what then? I'll die before elves dictate the fates of men. Are we not one in this? I fight for the men I've held in my arms, dying on foreign soil. I fight for their wives and children whose names I heard whispered in their last breath. I fight for we few who did come home, only to find our country full of strangers wearing familiar faces. I fight for my people. Impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves! I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been for nothing. I fight because I must. Your words give voice to what we all feel, Ulfric. And that's why you will be High King. But the day words are enough will be the day when soldiers like us no longer needed. 
I would gladly retire from the world. Were such a day to dawn. Aye. But in the meantime, we have a war to plan. Sir, there continues to be unrest in the Grey Quarter. Blast of Dark Elves. I don't suppose you can tell them that I personally have larger concerns, such as all the Spanish. They don't seem to be very sympathetic to our cause, sir. Let me know if you hear anything more substantial. Of course, my lord. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Do I know you? Is that so? Ah, uh, yes. You were with us at Helgen. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. A fair point. Well, you've come to the right place then. Speak with Galmar. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of hell. Seems we're all branded villains these days. So long as your criminal past stays in the past. And you fight for me with honor and integrity. We'll welcome you into our ranks. Speak with Galmar. He'll size you up and see where we can best use your talents. The Empire's ravenous hunger for Skyrim silver makes them fierce. But rest assured, we'll win the Reach and wrest it from their greedy paws. The Imperials have really dug into Whiterun. We'll wrest it from them soon enough. We must. Its central position is key. I'm not sure why Talius is wasting his time trying to take Winterhold from us. But if he wants to throw his men away, I'll gladly accept that gift. The Empire thinks it holds Falkreed from us, but the souls of Skyrim's bravest are buried there and will fill our hearts and strengthen our blades. Not entirely true, though not entirely false either. Any Nord can learn the way of the voice by studying with the Greybeards, given enough ambition and dedication. My shouting tore to the ground, proved he had me there. However, it was my sword piercing his heart that killed him. We're fighting because we're done bleeding for an empire that won't bleed for us. Untold numbers of Nords died defending the empire against the Dominion. And for what? Skyrim being sold to the Thalmor so the Emperor could keep his throne. We're fighting because our own Jarls, once strong, wise men, have become fearful and blind to the people's suffering. We're fighting because Skyrim needs heroes, and there's no one else but us. I killed Torrent to prove our wretched condition. How is the High King supposed to be the defender of Skyrim if he can't even defend himself? Indeed, Elisif has become Jarl of Solitude. Historically and conveniently home of the High King, backed by Imperial interests. But the Moot has not yet met the name of High Queen. And they won't. Not as long as I have any say in it. There hasn't been a true High King in Skyrim for generations. For too long, he's been hand-picked by the Emperor and given emphatic nods by milk-drinking Jarls addicted to Imperial coin. It's time we had a real High King, one of our own making. My father, the Great Bear of Eastmarch, died during my imprisonment after the Mark Garth incident. I, his only son, forced to deliver his eulogy by a letter I had smuggled out of prison, such as the love of Titus Mead for his subjects. When finally set free, I returned to Windhelm and was greeted by a city in mourning. At one with my own grief and anger, clamoring in angry voices, calling out for justice, for war, they sat me on the throne. The throne of Isgomor, the throne of my father. I only hope I can prove worthy of that honor. Go with the gods. I'm not much of a strategist, but Lord Ulfric listens to my counsel all the same.
If you have any news of the Western Holds, take it to Ulfric immediately. Grew up here, cold as at Mora, but that just grows the beard sticker. Lot of history in these walls. We're trying to make some more. It's a lucky time to be alive. For Ulfric? Well, nothing official. Known him for years. He seems to value my thoughts, and I'm grateful for that. I don't really have a mind for war, and I think he likes having an untrained opinion from time to time. Travel safely. It's dangerous out there. I think you might be in the wrong place, friend. All right, then. Hmm, Helga, now. Huh? Ulfric told us quite the story. If you made it through all that, you're likely worth something to me. Now, but first, tell me. Why does a foreigner want to fight for Skyrim? Fair enough. But are you willing to die for your home? Watch. Yoli, I want you to send a messenger to our western camp. I spent my life, How sir, in town to join you. No plan to stop by, sir. I do the cooking and cleaning around the palace. Something that seems to be Don't need to pay me no mind. I'm the least important person in here. Keeping the palace clean and the Lord's bed ain't easy work, but it's honest work. Yes? Need something? Why, you? You're not a thief trying to rob me, right? You're not a thief trying to rob me, right? It blocks the only road from Syridine. Gagan. Whatever you've heard I can do is probably true. Ah, oh, yes, the extract. Good. Poisonous, of course, but uh, it has its uses. I suppose you want something for your trouble? Here. Whatever I don't already know. Power is the crux of this world. There's always more of it to be had, if you look in the right places. No, but then I don't have much need for Ulfric. We both live well enough alone. Strength and steel are well and good, but magic is the true power in this world.
eyes open. Damn dragons could swoop down at any time. I'm a sailor on the North Wind. We're laying over in Windhelm for a while. Good to see you again, friend. 